Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the strongest cards in Clash Royale since the balance update so far, and that of course is, surprisingly, the Royal Recruits, currently one of the highest win percentage cards in the entire game since the balance update. Of course, they got an 8% damage buff in the Season 14 balance update, which a lot of people didn't think would be too big of an impact, but so far, they have one of the highest highest win rates in the entire game and this deck right here in particular is dominating. You have the Fisherman and their guys to offer a ton of utility both on offense and defense. Then the Heal Spirit, I would say probably the most broken card in Clash Royale right now. Overall, very, very solid deck in Clash Royale. Uh, once again, guys and girls, if you do want to support me, make sure you throw in Creative Code Chain into the bottom of your shop before buying the new Pass Royale Season 14 or special offers from the shop or anything like that. It costs you nothing extra and is a great way to support me. So thank you to anyone that chooses to use code Shane in their shop. Alrighty, guys and girls, jumping in against our dear friend Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy up top there. Almighty 503. We got the Royal Hog Royal Recruit deck that uh, I gotta tell you is absolutely disgusting. The Royal Recruits are uh, very insane since the balance update. Ah, ha, ha, ha. He thinks he has me. Little does he know we got one of those and one of these. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So Ice Wizard on the right lane, it gets a little bit of action on there. Uh, Barbarian Barrel. Come on, please. Please tell me that Fisherman was a good idea. Please. Please, Clash Roy. I don't think it was. I regret not having Fishy Boy right now for this DP action. Dragons, are you enough? Dark Prince, don't you dare hit my tower. Ooh, what? No way! Come on, the one skeleton turned away. Guys, go back and watch that. The one skeleton dragon was like, nah. <laughs> I ain't doing this. The other one was like, come on, skeleton dragons, really? Why did one of them leave and the other one didn't? What a noob. What a noob, oh, a newbie noob. I said he's a newbie noob. I said he's a newbie noob, oh, a newbie noob. Sorry. That's cringe. Bruh. You realize that's not the play you want to make, right? I mean, he gets one Barbarian Screen to the tower. It's aight. It's aight. Get your emote face out of my face, bruh. DSG. Doing so good, Jimmy? Jimmy? Why are you doing so good? Why, you, why they call you doing so good, Jimmy? He's doing so good. Oh, he's doing so good. He's doing so good, oh yeah. He's doing so good, oh he's doing so good. Yo, that NATO is destroying us right now, eh? Wait for it. <laughs> Dragon gets destroyed. We're gonna go with a bit of split royal piggy action over in this business. Heal spirit left lane here. He has to go barbell on the right, which means uh, absolutely nothing. It means absolutely nothing. It means nothing that I want it to mean, at least. I want it to mean we won, but that's not what it meant. It meant we're going to get annihilated. A little bit slower than I thought we were, but we're still going to get annihilated. Not good, not good. Not what we wanted, boys and girls. Let's just pull back here, man. This uh, Barbarian Hut is going to destroy us, dude. Barb Hut, I think, is low-key. Super OP. In my opinion. I could be wrong. But I could be right. We shall find out. Man, I want to poison so freaking bad. I want to poison so bad, bro. Let's continue doing work, please. Yes. He poisoned that jazz. The jazz is, in fact, poisoned. Skeleton Dragon gets uh, his Skeleton Dragon down. Nice. Okay. Where's your graveyard, my friend? Graveyard's where? Dude. The Fisherman, just destroying face right now. We got a pretty good, uh, pretty good lead here, but we could easily lose it at any point in this battle here. The problem is, is I can't go, you know, uh, poison on offense. Is the major issue here so far, right? And that's a whole lot of stuff in the middle of the field there, guys. Yes, Skeleton Dragon survive. Go piggies, go. 
And out of that, you're telling me we got zero damage done to either tower? We're still winning, though, eh? Fishy boy here. Poison this jazz. I mean, I'm going to go hard, hard, hard out to this, guys. Wait for it. Right here, right here. He's going to go Barbell. He's so going to go Heal Spirit now. Then with the Musketeer in the action. Come on, Heal Spirit. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Dude. How are we not getting more damage done with these pushes, dude? Let's do one more. Heal Spirit here, please. Poison these Skeleton Dragons. Come on, baby. Ah, that was the poison I needed for his next graveyard. Actually, do I? I think we should be fine. Nice NATO. Pretty aggressive, though, if you ask me. And we're to go, uh, Fishy Boy here. Poison this. We should be good to go for the defense here. We got the tower damage lead here, so we are gonna win. Yes. We split our damage pretty substantially there, but... We still do well. I mean, his deck his deck does very well versus us because he's got uh, a ton of splash damage, Dark Prince, Nato, and the Barb Hut. But we made it happen. Good game. All right, Mr. Alexi. Good luck, sir. Nice thumbs. I see you got some thumbs there. I see you. I see you. We're going to go ahead here, probably drop down a um, Heal Spirit, maybe? Yes. That's the play to make, right? Heal Spirit left lane. He answers it with a... He probably has Golem. I don't know what it is, but I've been facing a ton of Golem today. Like, literally, I was going through my battle log today, and like, 6 out of 10 battles were Golem. And it's literally like the same thing every battle. They drop Golem, bind their King Tower, every uh, every time. So I don't know if I've just, there's a trend lately to like, use more Golems. But I've definitely been noticing that uh, Golem has been uh, dominating my matchups at least. Okay, that's a, a pretty good NATO by him. It's looking like it probably is Golem. Golem double Ds. We got some tower damage done, but the King Tower activation is not good. Definitely think it is going to be a Golem deck, though, for sure. So here's the plan. We're going to go Barrel here. If he doesn't answer it, we get one Barb Swing. There's the Golem. Told you guys it wasn't going to be Golem, and it is, in fact, confirmed to be Golem right now. Um, and the question is, what does he got for spells? Likely to be, uh, Lightning Spell, which is the most popular spell of choice for these Golem decks. Wait for it. Poison this Jazz. Do this over here. Nice. Now the bats come out this way to go. A Skeleton Dragon is here. He does get Golem death damage to my tower, which isn't ideal. By any sense of the word ideal, I can't go Heal Spirit because he's got Barbell. So, we got to kind of track his rotation of his counter cards before we get too crazy with our stuff. He doesn't have uh, Barbell in hand now, though, so we're going to go Heal Spirit here with... Oh, he's got Dark Prince, too. That's not, that's not, that's not good. Jump, Heal Spirit, jump. Okay, cool. <sighs> he's got some good splash damage. All I'm, all I'm really concerned about right now is the splash damage in his deck. Wait for it. One of these here. Heal Spirit now, because I knew he's got Barbell in his deck, so I wanted to wait for the Barbell to go down first before going Heal Spirit, basically, was the plan of action right there. Poison this Jazz. Barbell of the Night Witch, so she dies in the Poison Spell. There we go. Fishy Boy for his Dark Prince here. Let's go. Dark Prince gets destroyed, please. Dark Prince don't survive, man. Come on. Getting a bit crazy now, dude. Wait for it. One of these. This here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All in right now, guys. Right lane. Double tower. Double hawks with tower. Yes, there we go. Dude, that's what you get for dropping a golem at the bridge and expecting to win. Good game. Well played, dude. All right, guys. Jumping in against this person, this uh, guy, girl, lady, gentleman up top there. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Whomever you may be. The new tower skin looks sick. However, from the looks of it, it looks like it can be misleading. Because of how big the skin is. Like, visually, it looks like you're touching the tower with the poison there, right? But you're not. Wow. Wow. It's going to be another golem deck, guaranteed. 
Gu gar guaranteed to be another golem deck, guys. 100%. I'm telling you right, I don't know what it is, but today I faced nothing but golem nonstop. Oh, it's even worse over golem, uh, eagle and battle healer. This is the deck that got number one in the world last season. Hmm. Oh, man. I think we're 100% dead here, dude. Shoot. What do I do, man? We can't poison because he can just, uh, he just heals through it. One of these. This here. All right, let's go. All right, we actually survived that, which honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is very surprising. The fact that we just survived that. I don't think we win this matchup, though. This is a, not a good matchup for us. Just because, um... His healer gets through our poison. And, uh... Yeah. I just... I don't think we win this matchup, to be honest. The healer can heal through the poison. Basically keeps the dragons alive. Um, and we've got no way of DPSing the dragons down. From, uh... From beyond, if that makes sense. Probably not, because it doesn't make sense to me when even after I said it. Right, let's go one of these. Yeah, I literally don't think we, uh... Don't think we win this one, to be honest. Hmm. Like, he can just, um... Like I said, DPS through everything here, right? Come on. Unless... Do one more of these. Maybe it's a better matchup than I thought. I don't know. We're winning right now. We're actually destroying. Maybe I'm just scared. Maybe this deck got number one in the world and I'm just scared. Maybe it's a better matchup than I thought. Apparently it is, guys. Apparently we're doing good here. Apparently I was wrong. Apparently we just dominated. I thought we were dead. I don't know. I, I don't know why. In my mind, I'm thinking about this matchup and I'm like, he can just uh, heal through my poison, but. Uh, we just destroyed it so easily. I don't know what happened. I don't know if that was on his end or my end. But that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Alright guys, we're jumping in against Karen Star up top there. Good luck. Good luck. Maybe it's not Karen Star. I shouldn't say that. It's Karan Star, right? Karan Star. Bruh. Did I just do what I just think I did? I did. I did do what I think I did do. Oh, man. Why did I did do that, guys? I don't freaking know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry y'all have to witness that. That was a... Oh, man. I can't believe I did that. Because here's the thing. When I saw Princess, I was 90% sure he had a classic log bait deck. But I went log anyways. Or, or bar barrel anyways. And I don't know why. You know? I don't know why I did that. He's gonna log right here. We should get some respectable tower damage. Oh, we forced out a Goblin Gang. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I went uh, Bar Barrel. Because, like, I was pretty sure he had uh, classic log bait. Because whenever they had Princess, that's always where my mind goes. And in my mind, like, I was like, let's go Skeleton Dragons here. But then... But then I went bar barrel. It was just like, I don't even know. Like, it's weird. Because, like, literally I was thinking in my head, go skeleton dragons, keep your bar barrel for the goblin barrel. But my body just went and used bar barrel. <laughs> I, know the, I know you guys think I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy too right now. Because that was weird. It's like my body just didn't listen to my brain. <laughs> I know, I sound super excusey right now. I know, dudes. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound like that. <laughs> yes. Oh, the Musketeer's alive. You go, girl. You got this. Don't let anyone tell you you don't. Musketeer turns around. Pickets get some work done. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Wait for it. <laughs> Actually, Shane, stop laughing. We might still lose this one. We're we're not within. We're we're not winning yet. We haven't won yet, so I gotta stop laughing. 
Because he can easily like start playing uh, better and win. But we do have Bar Barrel for his next Goblin Gang. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I should not have heal speared that though, that's for sure. Poison this. He needs one more. He needs a few more rockets to our tower, right? Wait for it. Inferno. I figured he'd do that. I missed one of the goblins. No. No. Are we gonna lose? I'll be sad, but I'll understand. I will understand entirely, guys. Yo, can I cycle cards a bit faster, please? Yo, Fishermore, go down, please. What's going on here? What's with the... Did I, did I not have the elixir? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't have the elixir there. Maybe I didn't have the elixir there. Because that fisherman didn't go down when I wanted it to go down. Maybe I was short an elixir. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But it, like, hovered. I don't know. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. We would have lost, but... Dan, if I didn't soak that, uh, that first goblin barrel, that extra help we would have got... Would have won us the game. Feels Batman, for sure. All right, guys, we're jumping in here against our dearest of friends, Mr. Electro Buzz. Sounds like a new Pokemon. Right? Electro Buzz. I'll stop right now. That's cringe. Cringe Ultimate. Yo, what are you doing minor there for, bruh? I don't know what you're doing, bruh. Sorry, I'll stop saying bruh. Uh, so minor bats gonna be potentially a balloon deck or a wall breakers skeleton barrel deck If he's got bomb tower I legit quit this game If he's got bomb tower I legit quit this game I quit this game legit Legitimately you oh, legitimately I said legitimately is a heal spot enough to stop one of these All right I've played this matchup a few times today and I haven't won it a single time. Just because the bomb tower destroys my piggies and we don't have an, uh, a good answer for his wall breakers. Right? Because Bar Bill takes him down a bit, but if he's got a minor tanking for it, uh, you can't destroy it immediately. So I just don't know, you know? He's going to go knight right here. Oh, a log spell. Yeah, fish slap that tower, please. Fish slappy slappy time. Anything right lane here? <gasps> the poison. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, we're so freaking dead though, eh? The bomb, the uh, bomb tower destroys everything in this deck. Bro. Look at this. Just annihilated my tower. Come on. All right, I'm cool with that. Yes. Okay. Guess we soak the minor damage here. Dude, my cards take so long to go down. Am I just crazy? Or what? Am I just crazy or what? I feel like my cards are being late. You're late to the party today. Nice. Nice heal spell, Shane. Wasn't for some bats? Oh, we got the bomb tower in there, but no bat. Oh, we do get bats. Yes. Thank you, Electro Buzz. Oh, man. That's all I really wanted was to get the bats in there. We got it. Boy, did we get it. Hmm. Hmm. I knew he had log. Why did, I, why did they go like, yo, we actually get some uh, skeleton dragons in the tower. We actually win. Just like that. Skeleton dragons destroy it. Good game, Mr. Buzzy Boy. Good game. Well played. GG's, man. Anyways, guys and girls, that is in the video. Here's the deck one more time. If you want to go ahead and give a shot yourself, guys. Royal Recruit, new meta deck, 3.8 average Lex error. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. If that is in the video, guys, thank you for watching. We shall see you in the next one.